Have you noticed how internet memes are getting ever stranger as time goes on? Why do you ask? I was just looking at a list of the top 100 memes of all time. So many of them are so strange and change the way we perceive things or even invent entire new concepts. More than you realize. The cleverest internet memes actually invent new concepts, not just spread ones that already exist. I thought memes had always existed. They're like passed from person to person through imitation, right? That is the literal definition. But that definition is a rather poor one when it comes to internet memes. Why? What's wrong with it? This isn't just imitation anymore. Memes used to spread through imitation alone because people are hardwired to imitate each other. On the internet, people now have the ability to imitate each other, but also the ability to invent things previously unimaginable. It's no longer just imitation. So the internet is not just a medium for memes, it is itself a meme. Well, that's pretty profound. So what does this mean for society? Some people believe the internet will ultimately fail and all memes will be lost. I don't think that's true. I think it's just a new paradigm for human society. One where memes are both spread and invented and in fact invented at a much faster rate than before. I suppose so. That would certainly explain these weird memes popping up everywhere. It's not just the memes themselves which are weird, it's also the ideas they convey. The internet has brought us into contact with people who have different perspectives from us and created new social groups that didn't previously exist. People who never would have come together in a pre-internet era now interact on a daily basis. Ideas and memes are no exception to this and mix with each other in ways which were impossible before the internet. So memes have become more advanced because of the internet. That's right. Old memes have been supplanted by new ones and their combined effects have transformed how the human brain functions. That sounds pretty clear cut. I'm not sure what else to say. If you think about it, a meme can be classified into three categories depending on whether its content is imitative, inventive, or both. Huh? What do you mean by that? Memes which are purely imitative have no meaning. They consist only of a behavior which is copied from one person to another. Imitation alone causes them to spread but it doesn't change the brains of those who imitate, so they're just as indistinguishable from pre-internet memes as you said. Sure, that makes sense. What else? A meme which is entirely inventive wouldn't exist without the internet. It has a meaning, but that meaning was literally inconceivable without the internet. Such a meme is entirely new, so its inventor must have been familiar with earlier memes and was able to manipulate them into creating something which didn't exist before. This is a key aspect of internet memes, that it's possible to do this. I see. Finally, a meme can be entirely imitative but also inventive. It's not just a behavior. It has meaning and that meaning is new. So how would such a meme spread? It would spread by imitation first, then through word of mouth as the meme was described to others. This is how all memes spread, but the internet is different in that people have a chance to both imitate something and spread its meaning. That sounds like a powerful combination. It's much more powerful than you think. Because of the internet, memes have gone from being a simple imitation to being a complex interplay between imitative and inventive aspects. And because of that, there are no longer any clear borders between memes as there were before. What do you mean? Imagine a meme which is 80% imitative and 20% inventive. How many memes is that? It's not 100% either imitative or inventive exactly, so it doesn't fit into either category. The 20% is inventive because it uses other memes to create a new one, but it's not entirely new. It also affects brains in a new way, but it's not entirely new either. I see. It doesn't fit exactly into either category. That's a very interesting way of looking at it. You could say that memes are no longer either slash or, but both slash and. 
imitation and invention diffuse into each other, and the two can no longer be separated. What do you mean by can no longer be separated? It's impossible to determine whether a meme is imitative or inventive. If we find out that a meme is 20% imitative and 80% inventive, how can we tell which percent is which? It's impossible. It's not 100% imitative and it's not 100% inventive. One meme can be both imitative and inventive at the same time. Oh, I see what you mean. This really is a new world of memes. This has led to a multitude of new concepts. Memes such as culture, jokes, politics, and religion function in ways which were previously impossible. Thank you.